I feel extremely sorry that a man of such doubtful character as Donald Trump should have been elected the president of the world's most powerful democracy. There is a special rapport at a personal level between Modi and Trump, which I think reflects very badly on Mr. Modi and his personal preferences. In this race, the moral dimension was missing. It's very saddening that such a powerful country should be led by such a man who has been convicted as a felon on 34 different counts, who has made an infamous name for himself by consorting with prostitutes and making payments to them to cover up for his sins. I feel extremely sorry that a man of such doubtful character as Donald Trump should have been elected the president of the world's most powerful democracy. I also recognize that there is a special rapport at a personal level between Modi and Trump, which I think reflects very badly on Mr. Modi and his personal preferences. As for Kamala Harris, she was given a very short time. She came up from behind. She was performing extremely well, but it seems that uh, very deep fault lines in American society ultimately coalesced against her and she lost. In this race, the moral dimension was missing. And uh, it is, it's very saddening that such a powerful country should be led by such a man who has been convicted as a felon on 34 different counts and who has made an infamous name for himself by consorting with prostitutes and making payments to them to cover up for his sins. I don't think a man of such a character is good for either his country or for the world. But there also Trump in American history to defeat female candidate twice in the presidential election, like 2016 and 2024. He's not the first. There was one other president who also won twice, but not successively. He's the second. Well, so what? Does that remove the felony counts against him? Does that remove the action that he took with regard to Stormy Daniels? I don't think anything in the past record commends him to me, but he does commend himself to Mr. Modi, and so they're welcome to re-establish their great rapport. But sir, your statement regarding the questions regarding uh, this thing, don't you believe that this is a very personal attack to the Donald Trump? Because not at all. I think a person's personal character does affect his policy postures. And therefore, I fear that the moral dimension that ought to be there in the policies of a great power like the United States of America will be missing. He himself is very proud of the fact that his relationships are all transactional. This is completely against Mahatma Gandhi's concept of what leadership should be about. And therefore, I do not resign from my position that a man without character has been elected by the people of America as their leader.